Hey, Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com here. Tiki Boom has uh, released his second um, video in his series of Can It Be Done with Beaver Builder, in which he has uh, uh, recreated the Elementor.com's uh, home pages uh, hero section. So that is this hero section without the navigation bar and uh, this image which is overlapping um, with the play button which when clicked opens uh, a video and starts playing it automatically. So in this video I'm gonna see how we can do the same thing using oxygen. So I already have oxygen installed and activated in this site. So I'm gonna first create a new page. Let's say we'll call it Elementor and publish the page. And I do not want to uh, inherit any template. Uh, in, in this case, I have a main template that has the header and footer, uh, but I don't wanna do that. So I just wanna start with a blank slate. So I'll select none and edit with oxygen. All right, I'm gonna bring up this structure panel by clicking on the structure button. And the first thing that we need to do is to add a section. So I'm gonna click on add section and this section will should have this image as the background so i'm gonna inspect that section and grab that image and go to advanced background background image and upload that image okay so uh, the first thing we need to do is to inst um, add this icon image so i'm gonna drag that image into a temporary placeholder click on add image browse for that image and let's uh, set everything to appear um, horizontally centered in this section. So I'm gonna select the section and click on center. Now this icon appears to have a lower opacity than one because it appears to be dimmed. So I'm gonna select this image, go to advanced effects and reduce the opacity to say 0.5. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to add this heading text. So I'm gonna go to add heading, double click and paste the text. Okay, now I have installed a <clears throat> plugin or rather Chrome extension called Fontanello that's gonna show the font family, font size, line height and the color of the selected text. So I'm just a right, I'm just going to right click on the text and see that it is Vida Loca font, uh, 65 pixels with a line height of one and that's the color. So I'm gonna go select that text, search for that and 65 and like that. And we'll increase the space so I'm gonna select that uh, image and drag it down. So there is some bottom margin, maybe a little more. There you go. Okay, next thing is for us to add this text. So I'm gonna select add and text and paste. Okay, so instead of set, uh, setting the text color to white, I think we should do that at a section level because in the future, if some other text is added, it will automatically be white. So I'm gonna set 
right over there. Now this number is bolded, so I'm gonna select that and hit bold. Okay. Now this one is Roboto 23 pixels 100. Okay. So select the text. Roboto 23 font rate 100. Now let, let's add some space between these two like that. Maybe some more. Yeah, okay. So the next thing is for us to add this button. Uh, normally I would say we'll go add uh, a button, but in this case there is an icon to the left of this text. So the button element in oxygen will not be the right thing to do. So what I'll do is to add a, a div perhaps. And inside that, let's first place this icon. So I'm gonna go add icon and search for WordPress. We'll make it white and reduce the font size to something like that. And we need to have uh, a background of the dark pink or red so I'm gonna grab that color and for this div um, set that background color and we'll add some padding so I'll go to size and spacing and for padding at the top and bottom let's say I'll put in 20 uh, left and right let's say 50 Okay, and then we need to add this text called free download. So I'm going to go to add text free download. Now we want this image or the icon and the text to be in the same horizontal line. So I'll select the parent div and set the child elements to stack horizontally. Okay and we want the vertical middle alignment and i'm going to select that icon and add some spacing to the right a margin to the right so it does not look so cramped and let me add some margin so there is some space like that we need more okay all right so let's uh, select the div and make it uh, have rounded corners. So I'll go to advanced borders, uh, border radius of say 30, how about 40? Yeah, same thing, okay. So let's, um, let's reduce the vertical padding for this one. So it's not so tall. How about um, 15 and 15? Okay. Now let's select the text and uh, make it have the same font family and everything as this text here. So for this text, I can see that uh, it's a Hind Vadodara font family of 500 and font size of 18 pixels. So I'm going to select Hind Vadodara and uh, 18 and font weight of 500 and I'll go to advanced typography and set the text transform to uppercase okay that's looking similar maybe I can just um, adjust these things a little bit uh, 14 14 and make it say 46 and 46 okay now, this is actually a div, but what we want it to be is a link. So I'm going to click on this to set a link to that button. So for the timing, I'll just put a placeholder hash like that. And the moment we do that, you can see that uh, it shows link wrapper and it has become a anchor tag, anchor element rather than a div. And the text is getting the blue color. So we need to select that uh, entire link wrapper and set the text 
to white uh, typography color white okay now when we hover it shows uh, a green color so I'm gonna grab that green color and select the link wrapper and uh, change the state to hover and put the new background color of green so let me go back to the regular state okay now we need to add a transition so that the background color is uh, change is not so abrupt for that let's select that link wrapper go to advanced and effects and transition and we'll give it a timing of um, uh, sorry transition duration of 0.5 seconds so when we do that it's more uh, gradual and that is similar to what we have on the elementor site okay so the next thing we need to do is um, add this image so let me grab that image okay now since this image is not uh, does not need to be the width of the page instead of adding it as a section I'll put this inside a div so with the body selected I'm gonna add a div and inside this div I'm gonna add an image and we'll browse and drag this image in okay now anything I place in this div I would like it to be horizontally centered so we'll select center alignment and this entire div I would like to be moved to the top so we can just give it a negative margin by going to advanced size and spacing and let's say minus 100 okay I'm not sure whether this is actually appearing on top or not because it it does it seems to appear only when I put my mouse over but not otherwise so we'll just quickly save it and see how it this looks on the front end yeah it does look up here fine so what we need to do now is to add some padding at the bottom for this top section so that um, the image does not overlap the button so I'm going to select the section and increase the padding like that okay let's see how this looks now just need to move it a little bit up like that okay that's better so next thing we need to do is to add this um, play button so for that uh, I'm just going to add inside this div an icon and search for play so we have that and this is going to appear below the image and for this to appear centered on top of this image I need to set the position of this to absolute so I'm gonna to go to advanced layout and set the position to absolute with top as 50% and left value also as 15% sorry 50% Okay, and we'll change the color of this to white. And we need to set a relative position to the div so that the absolutely position icon will be in relation to that element, which is this div. So I'm going to go to advanced layout position relative okay so let's uh, increase the size of this uh, 
play button to I don't know maybe 75 or 100 okay so we'll just keep it at 100 okay so let's save it come back and see how it looks there you go okay now what we want is to be able to click on this um, icon and have a YouTube video show up in a light box for that we can use a plugin called pop-up maker I already have it installed so we'll just go and add a new pop-up and we'll call this a uh, hero video for all okay and for the content we need to put in the URL of uh, the video so let me just go to your elementor site start playing the video and we play We'll click on share and copy the link and we'll paste it in here okay let's publish this and I'll go back to all the pop-ups and here it's going to show a class so this class is what we need to give to this icon so that when it is clicked um, the pop-up appears with that video being played so I will simply sign it in class like that but before that that's not the right thing I need to actually uh, wrap this thing in a hyperlink so I'll do that make it an anchor tag and for this I'm gonna give the class okay so save it reload and it's gonna appear in a light box like that so while that looks okay it could be made better so I'm gonna edit this pop-up uh, go to display and change the theme to light box and go to size and make it uh, auto and we'll update and let's see how this looks okay that is better but we could have uh, the video a little bigger than that so let's edit the pop-up and go to text and here I'm gonna click on share for the video again and uh, click on this embed and here it shows the iframe code so I'm gonna put that in here and I would like to change the width and height values so there is a website called aspect ratio calculator in which it automatically gives us the values so the existing ones are 560 by 315 and let's say I would like to display the video in 1024 pixels so the height is 576 so 1024 and 576 okay now let me update come back and refresh and when we play we have the video appearing on the light box and we can click the play to play it okay so that that's it pretty much we are done with uh, what Tiki Boom has done using Beaver Builder and but I'm gonna take this one step ahead and actually do the next part as well because it looks kind of uh, abrupt uh, the way it is currently ending this web page so let's go back to Elementor's page and here we can see it has these uh, 
the four features. So I'm going to go back here and select this div, add in a new section. And in this, I'm going to add in a column element with two columns. And inside this first column, I'm going to add in a heading. Okay, and it's below that we'll add in this text. Okay, now let's uh, change this to <clears throat> Vida Loca, 35 pixels and 400. All right, so. Okay, now we want this to be centered horizontally. So I'll select the parent div and set center like that. And I think I forgot to change the font color. So I'll put in that. Add some spacing like that. Maybe a little more. Okay, let's concentrate on this text. It's hind 14 and that color. So, in Vadodara, that color and 14. Okay, so I'm going to select the heading and uh, duplicate it and move it into the right div and select the text, duplicate it and move it into the right div. And we'll select entire column and we will duplicate it. So we have this four and we can go ahead and double click and change what happened here it's not centered okay strange okay so now we can uh, just go ahead and double click and change the uh, text to whatever is there and let's save it Okay, there you go. It's done. Oh, this has got messed up. Hmm. Why is that? Let me just go inspect that element again. So that's this icon. Or rather, the link wrapper is what we need to be. Okay, so we'll go back to layout and set this to absolute top of fifty uh, percent and left value of fifty percent and make sure this div still has. Uh, Yeah, it does have position relative. Oh, I know why. So this section has got uh, added inside the div. This should be below the div or at the same level as the div. So I'm going to grab that and uh, try to get it out. OK, there you go. And um, for this icon, not that, that, not that one, this icon, we should remove the absolute positioning because we have set it for the link wrapper. So I'll just go to advanced layout and remove that. And for this one, mm, we have set the top and left value as 50%, 5-0, but it, the, because it has some width and height, we need to account for that. And we need to add some custom CSS to make sure that it is actually exactly centered. So I'm going to go to advanced custom CSS. And put in this uh, transform property, wherein we are basically pulling uh, it horizontal and vertically by a negative 50%. Okay, collapse. 
save, come back and refresh. Okay, there you go. Okay, I just realized that uh, there are a couple of things that I have missed. Uh, first is the the font weight of this text. The one that I currently have appears to be much uh, uh, bolder than what is there on the Elementor's page. And also this image, it has a drop shadow. So we could add that to our image. So let's uh, see what font weight this is. This is a font weight of 400. So I'm going to go back to my element and change the set the font weight to 400. Okay. And now for this image, we need to add some uh, shadow. So I would go to advanced effects, box shadow. Um, for the color, let's give it a light gray of say 0.2 and the offset in the horizontal and vertical directions will set it as zero and for the blur we'll just make it say 40 and we'll save and see how it looks okay so there is a box shadow you can increase that if you want and i see that uh, this is basically uh, taking up more of the you know this is overlapping on the section a lot more than our image so for that we could uh, select the section increase the padding and select this div and increase the negative margin let's do something like that okay yeah you could play around with that but we are pretty much done and i hope you find this tutorial helpful bye for now